This video explains the steps you could take when planning your answers to the questions following your initial review of the exam. We'll focus on one question, as the steps we're going to explain generally apply to all of them. So to start, whichever question you're doing, begin by reviewing the first few sentences on the right hand side of the screen to get a feel for the question context. Once you've done that, the next step is to open the requirements for the question. With the requirements open, now also open the word processor, which you can find under the response options. The reason for this is that you're going to copy the requirements into the word processor in order to begin your analysis and lay out the structure of your answer. Note that the various windows in the exam environment can be moved around and resized, and now is a good time to arrange your screen to make it easier to use. We'll put the requirements on the left and the word processor on the right. Obviously you can lay the screen out in whichever way works best for you, but either way it's important that you don't cover up the top or bottom toolbars. If you close the word processor, the window is only minimised, you don't need to worry that you're losing any work. Now copy all the requirement text into the word processor. Note the professional marks requirement and mark allocation in this question. When you do copy the requirement across, watch out for the formatting and reformat the text if you need to. This may require you to separate out the sub-requirements to make them clearer for reading. Doing this also sets out your answer structure. In ATX, be aware that you may be directed to an exhibit for more details, such as in Part B, which refers you to the email from your manager. We return to this when we analyse the exhibits further. You can prepare your final answers underneath each sub-requirement, keeping in mind the need for appropriate subheadings to make your answer easier to read and mark. Next, we recommend you go on to analyse each requirement in detail. This is in order to identify the specific actions the examiner expects you to carry out in your response. You can start by adding emphasis to key words by making them bold. We recommend you do this to the verbs and any calculation requirements, as well as the word AND. This exercise ensures that you capture every element that's required in your final answer. Here we're only bolding keywords in part A, however you should repeat this for the whole question. The next step is to analyse the exhibits, to obtain more specific requirement details, but also to start planning your answers. So close the requirements window in order to take a look at the exhibits. Let's do this for part B in this question. Open the email from your manager and read it carefully and actively. You can use a range of techniques at this stage. You may wish to highlight important information or copying and pasting information into the word processor, such as any additional instructions, required calculations, or planning points for your final answer. One of the advantages of a computer-based exam is that you can use the functional tools to help you analyse and answer questions effectively and efficiently. Remember that there are professional marks available in this question. The requirement asks you to prepare a memo, so using the appropriate presentation format and style will help you gain these. You may wish to add more subheadings as required to further break down your answer plan. When you move on to section B, you can follow a similar planning process to the one we've outlined here for section A.